We back. It's Manby. It's Bryce. Whatever you want to call me. We're back with another video today. Talking about there was there was a cat. Talking about all the Pokemon that we saw in in the uh, uh, what's it called Nintendo Direct. So these are all the Pokemon that are confirmed coming back in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we're getting an extra 200. That much has been confirmed, but we don't know all 200. We only know some. Um, so we're gonna go through every single one of those and talk about them from a competitive standpoint. Hopefully I can talk about a little bit about VGC as well, but main, most of my knowledge comes from singles. I'm learning VGC, so stay with me. So, the first Pokemon, Nidoking. I'm not going to talk about the pre-evolutions because I don't really care, unless it's Chansey, which I hate Chansey, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Nidoking. Nidoking is a really cool Pokemon, Gen 1. Super happy it's coming back. Um, you know, it's not going to be the most groundbreaking Pokemon. Uh, it, it is pretty, it's a pretty good niche pick in in any game mode, VGC, uh, singles, you know, it, it's got a bunch of good moves and it can definitely come in handy. So it's really, I'm really glad it's coming back. Same with Nido Queen, we you know it's coming back. The Queen, the Queen, the King. You can't add the King and not add the Queen. Nido Queen, same thing. It's a very good Pokemon. It's not groundbreaking. It's not going to be OU. It's not going to be every team VGC. But it's coming back. It's got really good special attacking move pool. It's got some cool stuff. It's got some decent utility. So they're both really good Pokemon. I'm happy they're coming back. Um, on to the Crobat. So Crobat is pretty good. It gets, uh, you know, it's good defog. And now heavy duty boots are in the game. Um, with its speed tier, I, I believe at level 100, it, I believe it uh, can get all the way up to 394 speed with the speed nature, which is fast. Um, and VGC, I don't see it being very good, but maybe, maybe it gets Tailwind and other cool stuff, so maybe it's not terrible. It gets Taunt, I know that, Taunt, Tailwind, maybe that could be a thing. Um, but yeah, for singles, it's it's a good defogger. It's get, With Heavy Duty Boots, it might be a little bit better than it was ever before, so that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, I don't really have much to say on Crobat. It's not, it's, it is what it is. Cat! <laughs> <sighs> Next, we have Golduck. Which is good. He can stop those weather teams. He also might be good on weather teams too. So I'm really excited for that, as I am a big fan of weather teams myself. So I'm excited to be using Golduck, and I'm excited it's coming back. Again, it's not the greatest Pokemon. It's got that niche in weather, weather type games. Uh, but other than that, it's not the greatest of Pokemon. So next, we finally have a big one that's coming back. Magnezone. I was so sad when I didn't see Magnezone because this thing makes the game more fun to me. Why? Because when Ferrothorn came in, I could kill it. And then when Skarmory came in, I could kill it. And now guess what? When Corviknight comes in, I can kill it. The cat is back. <laughs> um, so I'm really happy Magnazone's coming back, but we have to remember that Hidden Power is no longer in the game. There's a girlfriend sneaking in the background. Stealing the cat. Stealing, st stealing the cat. She's got the cat. All right. Um, Magnezone's coming back. No hidden power, so Ferrothorn, you get to live this time. So congratulations, Mag uh, Ferrothorn. But Corviknight, you have, you are, you're getting it. You're gonna die, and you're the best Pokemon in OU right now. So I'm excited. Corviknight also really good. It's also decent, rather in uh, VGC. It's got that mirror armor ability, so the people that use Intimidate get intimidated which is pretty cool. But I love Magnezone. It'll definitely be OU because it just kills those steel types. It's so great. And who knows what else they're going to give it. But again, it's got ways. It, it, it's even got good ways. If you wanted to beat Ferrothorn, you can. Um, sub Charge Beam that can beat Ferrothorn. So it's not the end of the world. Plus, most Ferrothorns are running physically defensive, although I think that might switch. But again, Magnezone, I love this Pokemon. I'm so happy to use it again. I'm glad it's coming back. And now we have to talk about Chansey. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. So, Chansey in the first seven generations was my least favorite Pokemon of all time because I think it's dumb. So, so if you want to try to kill it, you use a status move like Toxic, it switches out, it loses Toxic. You want to try to kill it with a physical attack, it switches out to something else that can take a physical attack. If you want to use a special attack, you might as well not. It doesn't do any damage. And plus, if you use a physical attack even, that isn't like boosted like something crazy like choice band tyranitar it's gonna take it can take it pretty well then it's got seismic toss which can hit every pokemon for a percentage then it's got toxic it's got stealth rocks i hate this pokemon eviolite makes it too strong because blissey stats are pretty much the exact same so they really messed up in that 
Um, but yeah, unfortunate it's coming back. It's going to make Stall a lot better. I don't think it does anything in VGC because boring Pokemon like Chansey don't, don't, don't do well in VGC. But maybe it does. I don't know. Um, fortunately, well, unfortunately, I have to play against Chansey again. But ghost types are more, more the rage these days. So hopefully Chansey might not be as effective because Seismic Toss uh, does not hit it. Which is nice. So you can sub, you can start setting up on Chansey, which is pretty cool. So that is that is a good thing. So it won't shouldn't be as annoying. Blissey, uh, again, it's worse than Chansey because how stupid a Violite is. It's kind of like our friend, um, what's that thing called? Uh, uh, the, the Corsola. Galarian Corsola. It's like that. It's broken because it's got, its second evolution has better stats than its first with the Violite. Alright, anyway, on to the next. That's as much as I want to ever talk about Chansey ever. So, you know. Electivire. Really cool Pokemon. Uh, I wish this Pokemon got a Galarian version. I, I guess not yet. Nothing's been announced. Uh, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, it's another Lightning Rod user, I believe, which is good for me. I really like Lightning Rod users. I think it's a very cool strategy. Pincurchin's my, my, my dude right now. But it's not the most amazing Pokemon in either format, but you, you could definitely find some use for it. So it's really cool. I'm glad it's coming back because it's one of the coolest Pokemon too. Look at Elkid. My boy Elkid. It's a, it's, a little, it's a little plug. Plug him in. Anyway, Kingdra. You know we're excited about Kingdra because we love weather teams. So it's going to be another Swift Swimmer that can nuke stuff. So that's going to be very good for weather. Uh, it was really, It's really missing... A very solid special attacker, I believe, right now. So having Kingdra that can just click Surf and knock everything out, which will be nice. But again, Pokemon like Seismitoad are coming back. But again, Kingdra will be actually able to hurt Seismitoad with things like Draco Meteor. Um, but it's really good in the fact that it's a special attacker. So Seismitoad will have to change its set if it wants to be able to deal with Kingdra. So it's really good. You're going to eat food? <laughs> oh my god, this cat. This cat. All right. Let's go to the next. We have Azumarill. Is Azumarill really that small? Why do they make it so much smaller than Kingdra? I don't think it's that small. Anyway, Azumarill is really nice. I've always liked it as an OU Pokemon. Uh, obviously, the fairy typing makes it really, really unique. Uh, it will not have Z Belly Drum. It will still have Belly Drum Citrus Berry, though. So it'll be a nice sweeper. Again, uh, there's Pokemon like Seismitoad. So this Pokemon won't be as effective, but I believe it'll still... You know what, honestly I'm going to take a, a gamble and say it's going to be U. -U. It's going to be under OU. Like, I think it'll be worse than it has been in the past. That's just a weird feeling I have without Z Belly Drum. That's just my guess. Uh, but it's a really good Pokemon, I really like it, so I'm happy it's coming back. I don't think it's amazing for VGC, but yeah. While Rain coming back, another Hail Abuser. It doesn't really abuse it very much and it's not a very good Pokemon, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. But still, more options for Hail. Don't think I'll use it. It's not the greatest Pokemon, it's just not very strong. It's not very good. Um, God, I wonder how loud his chewing is, because he, he can kind of munch. Anyway, Metagross, he's <laughs> he's a loud chewer. He is. He does not care. He's like... Alright, Metagross. Um, pretty cool that he's coming back. He does no longer have... He does no longer. He no longer has his Mega Evolution, so he won't be as broken. Um, he won't be broken at all, in fact. I, I expect this to be a very, very good UU pick. And I think it'll be amazing in niche moments in OU. So I'm excited for Metagross. I actually really like it. It's got one of the coolest shiny versions of all time, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's amazing in VGC, but I, I could be wrong. But it's, uh, I mean, cool. I'm, I'm really excited for Metagross. And now this Pokemon, a fan favorite, Garchomp. And it's probably going to get Dragon Dance in this generation because a lot of other Pokemon have been getting Dragon Dance. So I, I love Garchomp. Like... Of, of the broken ground flying types, except this one's just ground dragon, uh, he's my favorite. He's, he's, he's really fun to use and he's not as frustrating to play around. Like, Lando is a little bit more frustrating to play around, Kaliscor, god don't get me started. But Garchomp is pretty fun to play around, he's a really cool Pokemon, there's a lot of cool things you can do with him. My favorite set is the Rocky Helmet set, uh, so I like that a lot. Rocky Helmet Endure, so I'll be probably using defensive Garchomp. but. Offensive guard is probably going to be a monster as well, but I'm so happy. He's definitely going to be OU. Some people go as far as think it'll be banned from OU, and I disagree. Or, yeah, I don't think it'll be Ubers, but I think it'll be OU. It's a great Pokemon. Uh, I'm glad the game's getting him back. Uh, <clears throat> for some reason on here, it's called Zorpal. You see that, right? It says Zorpal. His name is uh, Zor 
Zoroark. Yeah, I almost forgot its name. Uh, Zoroark. Very, very cool Pokemon with the niche. Uh, well, now that the team preview's there, it's, ne it's never been as good. But it's, it's a cool Pokemon, so I'm glad he's coming back. Because it's just a cool Pokemon. It's a cool Pokemon. I'm getting it back. It's cool. So maybe it'll be cool in maybe niche scenarios where you can trick your opponent. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's not, not very groundbreaking. It's not going to be amazing. But yeah. A Cryogonal. Uh, another Hail Abuser. He gets Auravail. He gets Defog. He gets Rapid Spin. He gets Recover. He's a very good Pokemon that I'm very excited to use on Hail teams again. So as far as singles, I'm very excited to have more options for Hail. A Rapid Spinner, a Rapid Spinner Hail, and now Heavy Duty Boots. This thing's going to be so much better. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. It's not going to be broken, obviously. It's not going to be an OU, but it's a good Pokemon. So I'm excited for that. Now we can talk about a good Pokemon, Volcarona. Whew! Man, I thought when I first looked at the game that, uh, what's Snom's evolution? Frostmoth. I thought Frostmoth was going to be the new Volcarona. I cannot believe how much worse Ice in Bug is than Fire in Bug. That's actually crazy. But there is a small nerf to Valcarona, but there's also a huge buff to Valcarona. The huge, sorry, the small nerf is the fact that it has no long, it no longer has hidden power ground. So it can get walled by those Pokemon that don't take fire, or that can take fire and bug attacks. So it's got kind of a weakness now, but a huge buff is the fact that it can have heavy duty boots. So that's going to put Valcarona in a, you're going to have to have something on your team to deal with Valcarona. Um, and if you if Doug Trio is still balanced, it can that can kill those Pokemon, then the world is it's gonna be on fire. Valcarona is it might it honestly could be too strong. I that that's that's one of my bold predictions is Valcarona could potentially go to Ubers. It it could be that good, in in a in a in a, in a scenario where it has heavy duty boots, but no Z moves, I could be under overvaluating. So no Z moves, no uh, Mega. It's never had a Mega, but it has no Z moves. So it might not be as good. No hidden power. So two big weaknesses that it no longer has, kind of. But I still think it's going to be amazing. But yeah. On to the old Talonflame. Um, not very, not too excited, but it's another cool bird, so sure. Flare Blitz, Brave Bird. It's not a very good Pokemon after the Gale Wings nerf. But it is what it is. I'm still happy that it's there, coming back. So yeah, if that Talonflame is your favorite Pokemon, then I'm happy for you. Next on Pokemon, I am excited about Aurorus. So I actually think Aurorus is my favorite hail setter. So he gets Aura Veil and he gets Stealth Rock. He's a very, very, very good hail setter. So as far as hail teams, hail teams are getting... Okay, hail teams are garbage right now in uh, Sword and Shield. So I'm so happy they're getting a lot of their stuff back. So I'm so happy Aurorus is coming back. I like Aurorus a lot. So I'm really, really happy that he's coming back. Um, yeah, it won't be OU, of course, but... Anything to make hail less bad is good. Now we'll talk about Dedenne, the, the forgotten Pikachu form. Uh, uh, I don't even know what to say about this Pokemon. I don't really know much about it. I don't think it'll be amazing, obviously. <laughs> but it's a, it's a cool Pokemon. Another Pikachu clone. It's not as good as more Pico or Mimikyu. So as far as my tier list of Pikachus, Dedenne is at the bottom. But it's cool. That's coming back. Next we got Lycanroc, and I think there's more forms that aren't showing up. Um, but we'll just talk about all of them, I guess. Lycanroc is it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, it's a good, it's really fast, which might make it a lot better in whatever tier it's in because speed is like really fast. Pokemon are are can outspeed more than they used to be able to because there's not quite as many fast Pokemon. So I think Lycanroc will be a little bit better than it was before, and it's got a it's got some good forms too. Uh, Swords Dance, uh, Acelroc, uh yeah, but it, it does lose the Z move, which I don't think is that big of a deal for Lycanroc, but it's pretty good. I, I, I like it, and I'm, I'm happy it's coming back. And next we have the Galarian uh, Legendary Birds. So these aren't the actual picker, pick, pickers, pictures. Um, we have different pictures. Um, I don't have them on the screen, but they're going to be new types, essentially. And I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I don't really want to talk about that too much in depth. But basically they're getting new types, and I think my opinion is that they're going to keep their flying types, except maybe Zapdos, because it, it's grounded, um, and they're going to get new types, which is really cool. So I'm excited for those. Uh, I hope, yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll, they're probably the coolest legendaries far and beyond that are coming back, so I'm happy for that, um, especially because they're new and new and shiny. So by shiny, I mean they're new. Look, my cat's eating again. There, oh my goodness. All right, to the next, we got the doggies coming back. We got Raikou, Entei, Suicune. 
Um, Entei is kind of exciting because we have the mints which can change its nature so it doesn't have to have a specific nature with the uh, event so it can it can be more flexible. I still don't think it'll be amazing but I like Entei. Entei is my favorite doggy which is cool. Raikou, he's not the best but he's very good and it'll, people will definitely use him and he will be good. No Hidden Tower Ice is kind of kind of tough so it is what it is. So Raikou probably won't be as good but he's still good. So, And then unfortunately Suicune. Sorry if you like Suicune, but I don't like playing against Suicune because Pressure Stall is not fun. Like, I don't have fun playing against Corviknight, where they just go Roost, 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 and this thing just goes Rest, 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 Rest. They both start with R. How come the annoying R moves are with Pressure Pokemon? Anyway, Skull Burns and, and Pressure Stall. Yeah, does that sound like fun? No. Anyway, Suicune's coming back. He's good. He's going to be a threat. You're going to have to prepare against this thing. Um, or you're going to have to know what you're doing when it comes in, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think any of these... Well, I don't know about the birds, but I don't know if these dugs will be great. I don't think any of them will be good in VGC. Next, we got the Lugia and the Ho-Oh. Uh, I don't think they'll be allowed in VGC. <laughs> and I don't think they'll... I think they'll both be in Ubers, obviously, for singles, which is awesome for a uh, thing. And let me let me just talk about this Pokemon real quick. Heavy Duty Boots with Ho-Oh, this thing is going to be invincible. So that's amazing. I think Ho-Oh is going to be sick. Lugia also with Heavy Duty Boots is pretty cool. But ho oh, it's just gonna be a demon because it, it's always been Ubers without heavy duty boots. So just think about that. Next, we have the three Reggies coming back. We have Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. Uh, I guess those are coming back, right? I heard. I know we have two new Reggie forms, which are the electric version of Reggie Rock. Oh, sorry, the electric version of Reggies and the dragon version. Well, we don't know for sure, but that's what they look like. I again, the pictures aren't here for whatever reason. But that's really cool that we might get offensive. We're getting new forms of Reggies, which is like, why the heck have they not done that until now? So I'm really excited for that. Uh, I don't have much to say other than that. Um, Reggies, none of them are really amazing in VGC. None of them are really amazing in singles. They all just, they're all just walls. So they can't really hurt you back. Uh, but yeah, nothing too exciting there. Latios and Latios. Latios and Latios. Latios, my first ever Pokemon I ever got to level 100 by myself. Pokemon Emerald. Actually, Ruby. Was it Ruby? I think it was Ruby. Anyway, Latios. I love him. He's great. He's going to be OU for sure. It'll be interesting to see what moves they give him. Because he already has Dragon Dance, but he doesn't have Nasty Plot. If these two guys got Nasty Plot, that'd be amazing. Latios is going to be really good too, no matter what it's used. It's more utility based. It could be pretty good in both VGC and singles. I expect it better in singles, of course. But yeah. Uh, we got Kyogre and Groudon and Rayquaza, the, the, the trio, the Ruby Sapphire, Ruby Sapphire Emerald trio. Uh, if they get their primal forms, it's going to be amazing for Ubers because they're so good. They're so good. I really hope they're not. I believe they won't be, but I think they won't be uh, able to be used for BGC because they're just way too good. And Rayquaza, if, I don't think it'll have its Mega form because Megas aren't in the game, but. It's, it's one of the coolest legendaries of all time, so happy he's coming back for Ubers. It's going to be great. Next, we got the trio. I don't even know what to call these. Uh, Uxi, Mesprit, Azov. Uxi, amazing for Trick Room teams. This is amazing. Trick Room teams are now going to be better because Uxi is great. It's the best uh, Trick Room lead Pokemon, in my opinion. Bronzong is pretty good, too. But Uxi is really good. It sets up the rocks. It doesn't die, for God's sakes. It sets up Trick Room, and it can explode as well. Mesprit, the worst of the three. I don't even know what it does, to be honest. Uh, I can't really say much, to be honest. And then Azelf is a very, very, very good for hyper offensive. So these two just, they 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 boost archetypes. So Azelf, the best hyper offensive. It's it's almost better than, nah, I don't know. Excadrill is very good at hyper offensive. Um, Azelf, you lead with Focus Sash. You can taunt stuff. You can Stealth Rocks. You can explode. You can do all, so much with Azelf, and it's just really good. So it's going to be good for... HO teams, which is really good. Next, we have Dialga and Palkia coming back. We have Duraludon, so I don't really care about Dialga. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, this these are two really good Pokemon for uh, the Ubers tier, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, uh, these just great Ubers coming back. It's nice. The Uber tier is going to be a lot more fun. Unfortunately, Heatran is coming back. And I say unfortunately because it's so not fun to play against Heatran. It's so good, and it shapes the meta way too much. Because of how good it is, it just invalidates so many things that could be good. It's just so good. It's so good. Like, I hate using it. Like, 
I hope they never ban Doug Trio because I hate Heatran. Like I hate playing against it. It's so freaking good. It's really annoying. In fact, he's probably the second. No, he's probably top three Pokemon I'm least excited to come back just because he's so good and it's gonna be on every team and it's gonna be like okay cool it comes in it takes zero damage it has leftovers it hits protect it hits magma storm for eight billion damage ah anyway it's good it's gonna be OU I hope it gets banned it won't probably but it's gonna be meta defining it's such a good Pokemon Heatran's amazing stealth rocker ah it's good at least no Z move so I can't you can't do you can't go crazy on the offensive side but defensively it's just gonna be amazing Giratina, another great Pokemon for Ubers. It'll obviously be Ubers, another good Defogger. It just does so much good things in Uber, so good for Giratina coming back. Cresselia, God, I hate this Pokemon too, but this is really good for VGC and Trick Room. They're, it's, it's very good in both, for both of those uh, types of uh, play. Um, my can, What I don't like about it is it just doesn't die. Like, I hate Pokemon that just don't die. But... Uh, at least with Dynamax and VGC, it might not be quite as annoying to play against, but it's going to definitely be rampant <laughs> in VGC. So it's uh, it's cool. It's coming back. And singles, and again, it'll, it'll just be niche. It'll be on Trick Room teams, and it'll be very annoying on those Trick Room teams because you can't kill it. But yeah, cool Pokemon. Cresselia. Nice. It's coming back. <sighs> you knew we were going to get to Landris. Let's talk about the three. I don't even know what trio to call them. The, 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 element, the elemental trio something. Uh, we got Tornadus, so I'm assuming this means their Tyrion forms are coming. I think this is confirmed. If you have one, you get the others. But Tornadus T is way better than Tornadus, but Tornadus is good too. They're both really good, so that's cool that they're coming back. I dislike playing against Tornadus T because I think Regenerator is the most unfun ability to play against in the entire game. You get rewarded for doing nothing. You switch out, you get rewarded. I, I don't think that's very fun to play against in my opinion. Um, I don't know how these guys fare in VGC. I think Tornadus with Prankster could obviously be a threat in VGC, so I'm not counting that out. Uh, even Tornadus, I don't think Tornadus T is very as as good in VGC. Again, it's gonna be it's gonna be doing its thing in singles with its regenerator ability. But yeah. Next we got Landorus. So Landorus Tyrion, as you know, everyone knows this is coming back, so it's not like this is groundbreaking thing. Um, Landorus I will get banned from singles. Um, I don't know if it's allowed in VGC. If it is, God help us all. Um, it probably will be though, right? If Landers Tyrion is. So Landers Tyrion is going to be annoying too because Intimidate is so good in uh, VGC and God, this is the most used Pokemon ever. And every, okay, since it was released, it's on every team that has ever existed in OU and it'll continue to do that. The thing is, I've learned to use it myself and it's not, it's not as bad. If everyone's using it, it's not as bad. Like, Heatran is way more frustrating to me to play against than a Landorus. I'd rather play against Landorus any day of my life. So I'm not I'm not too sad that Landorus is coming back, but it's like, dang it, it's going to be on every team. It, it, that's that's what's disappointing to me. Uh, now we'll talk about Thunderous. Pretty cool. Um, I believe this guy gets Prankster too. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Uh, I think he does. So Prankster on that could be really nice. Um, the Tyrion form also has Volt Absorb, so that's pretty cool too. I think for VGT and singles, so I think this Pokemon will definitely has it has its it will definitely has its niche, uh, which is nice. But other than that, I don't think it's anything too spectacular. Next, we got another couple Pokemon for the Ubers tier. We got Xerneas and Yveltal, uh, another cool Pokemon that'll be in Ubers. I, I have nothing else to say other than that. So they're just they're just nice cool Pokemon. Next, we've got Zygarde. Let's talk about Zygarde first by itself. Uh, this Pokemon I definitely do not want to see in OU. It should be straight up banned, and that is just my opinion. It's so freaking good. I don't know if it's allowed in VGC or whatever, but it's too good of a Pokemon. It's got Glare. It's a ground dragon with Glare and Coil and all sorts of broken stuff. It's not fun to play against. The ground, why, is, why are ground types so good? Ground types are so good. And they're bringing all of them back. Garchomp, Landris, Zygarde, at least they're not bringing Glyceor back yet. Yeah, they could be coming. But yeah, Zygarde here. Scary Pokemon. Um, it'll probably be OU for a while and maybe get banned. It's so good though. It's definitely going to be meta defining. Um, unf now these are my. I'm looping these as one Pokemon. These are my least favorite Pokemon coming back. They're cool Pokemon. Tapu Koko, probably one of the coolest Pokemon ever. Tapu Lele, the best Scarfer of all time. Tapu Bulu, I hate Tapu Bulu. Tapu Fine, you're okay. These Pokemon are are just too good. Like, 
I don't have fun playing against him. Tapu Koko can, can do a billion different things. I know he's going to be a VGC monster because he has screens, he has unbelievable speed, he has so many different things he can do. Tapu Lele, uh, Psychic Terrain was actually really cool. Tapu Lele was my favorite because it's, it's just a kind of a cool idea. Um, it's, it's just so good though. It's like way too strong. Um, Tapu Bulu is the least fun Pokemon to play against. Not really, but the least since I've said it the last time. Um, Tapu Fine is pretty cool. It's actually way more fun to play against than the others. Uh, but they're just... What I don't like it about is... Like, you can put all four of these on a team and be fine. And what's annoying is the terrain. You have to, like, remember, oh, this terrain's active, so I can't do these. Like, the rules are always changing, and that's what I dislike about him. Coco is just so crazy. Like, he's so crazy. He's gonna be immaculate. He's gonna be able to set screens. He's gonna be able to do anything. So in VGC and singles, he's just gonna be stupid. He's gonna be stupid good. But yeah, that's how I think about... <laughs> The Tapus. I just, I don't like playing against them. I really don't. But they're really good. They'll be on every team. You know how it goes. Um, but yeah. Um, there's also new Pokemon too. I don't have any pictures of them, apparently. But there are new Pokemon somewhere. Um, but maybe I'll do a separate video on those. But those are all the returning Pokemon coming back. Uh, what Pokemon are you most excited for? What Pokemon are you least most excited for? And don't take my opinions the wrong way. It's just my opinion. Like, you don't have to hit the dislike button because you don't like it. But just tell me. Tell me which Pokemon you like and dislike. That's how... Th those are my feelings on the Pokemon that are coming back. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe for more. I do videos like this all the time. And yeah. Anyway, we're going to be out. We're out of here.